Hello everybody, welcome back to DBC Games. This is Death by Cannon. The sun is rising and it's once again time to get started in MC Eternal. Today we are going to continue in immersive engineering, which means because I need to make blast brick and that requires nether brick, we're going back to the nether. Yeah, I hate that place. I've also got a couple of viewer tips and we're making a mob farm. So be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss a thing. Let's get started. <laughs> How'd I end up on the table? <laughs> enough nether rack to make nether brick. If I set up a pulverizer, which I could easily do, I could pulverize the nether brick that I already have. But I'm just not feeling it. It's just, let's just go to the nether. I've got everything anchored, right? Anchored, 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 anchored. Both my bobbles are anchored. My pickaxe and my sword or anchored. Yeah, let's just try it. Right? What could go wrong? I've said that before. <laughs> well, hopefully we're even recording because it's been a thing. wish I would have brought some cobble with me. I really like the way it looks when it's storming here. You can see the, uh, the fire and ash going around. It's just a really cool animation. I really like it. We are not mining that for that last time, didn't we? Okay, let's get out of here while we've got everything we need. Ooh, that bat got in here. Got him! So we've got our nether rack to make nether brick. So that's all cooking up and we've got plenty of blaze from our trip to the desert. And we need 27 of these, and I'm going to work on that, and when it's done, I'll be back. Okay, so this should make 27 blast brick. Okay, so I've got 27 blast brick now, and we are... Do I still have my hammer <laughs> before I go over there? Get the stuff I dropped off so I wouldn't uh, take it with me if I died. Okay, let's go set up our blast brick. I probably should have brought some iron with me. We'll just put it right here next to this one. Again, it's just a solid 3x3, three three, so we'll place these down. And we'll right click that with our hammer. We have reached a goal. And now we have to go get the iron that I said I was missing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our block of coal coke and our block of iron. And we are going to start our steel production. Let's see. Oops, I forgot to, um, took that apart for the quest line. I forgot to put it back together. And we'll add a couple more iron. That should be enough to get us started. Go see how our battery is doing. Our capacitor. It's not full yet. So we're just going to let that run. I don't really need power over here yet but soon. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is our water wheel, which we have got our steel started over there for our wheels. And I am going to start building the building that our water wheel is going to attach to. So I will be back when we have that stuff ready to go. Oh, I interrupt. I'm going to interrupt our immersive engineering here a little bit because while I'm building this building to place everything and to do our water wheel, I have decided I want to use um, the stuff from Architecture Craft. And I've already made the Architecture Saw Bench, which is the large pulley, which is just a stick and some blocks. The circular saw blade, which is a stick and some iron. Then you just put all those together with some sticks, a plate, and some iron ingots. And that I've already made, and it is upstairs. But I would like to have the hammer and the chisel also. But I'm going to have to find some 
orange pigment, which shouldn't be a problem. I have a ton of flowers. Now we have some red dye, some yellow dye. The two together will give us two orange dye, two more orange dye. Oh, I think we only need one for this. And that gives us an architecture's chisel. Okay. So I've got my saw bench here. What I'm wanting right now is a curve. I think I just put my material here. And then we just take it from here. Hopefully these are the right ones. Let's go look at these and see how they look. I think I want this one just doorway height. But again, I think it's going to have to be bigger than two once we place these in. I don't think we'll be able to walk through anymore. No, we will not. Okay. Now we've got our doorway three high. Okay, and then we put our corners in. And there is our rounded arch. It is so cute. Now, this one's further apart because it takes three blocks. Let's go see what we have for that. Okay, let's see how these work. So one, two, three. Now something is not right. Will it flip around? It does. Awesome. And then does this go? No, but I bet there are blocks to finish out this curve. I do kind of like the shape of it. Even if there aren't blocks, but I believe I saw them in there. So let's check those out. Okay, so I had this one. Let's do two of these. I think these will fit and finish out the curve. Let's go check it out. Nice. I really like that. Minecraft arches and curves. Who knew that could be a thing? I love it. <laughs> Okay, so that's the architecture mod. Um, there's a lot more to it. Uh, you can pretty much make any of these shapes here, window trims, uh, stair rails. Um, I'm just going to play around with it as I build my little factory area here. And uh, I'll be back when we get a little further along. So we have got some steel. Let's go get that. Oh, did you see that midnight? I do not want to go to the midnight. Get a sword ready just in case. And it looks like we're going to have another one soon. Okay. Now let's get started on our, our water wheels. Which are a bunch of these. Yep, that just gave us two. And I think we need four. So let's make two more. To make one water wheel. I've already made our kinetic dynamo. So now we're ready to put it on the building. It is not finished, but the part I need to be finished is there. I just need a wall to stick it on for now. So we've got our dynamo in. Now we just need to get our water wheel on there. So I cannot get my water wheel on with it level with the wall. So now we are going to try to get it on um, with it one block out of the wall. I'm going to use the scaffolding so that I can reach it without getting pushed around in this stinking water because it is always moving. What I really like about the scaffolding is if you shift click on the opposite side, it, it will go on the, if you shift click on, click on one side, it will go to the opposite side. That's what I meant to say. So we finally got out here. Let's see if we, there, we got the water wheel. Uh, that, that was a lot of more work than it needed to be. <laughs> Is the water affecting our water wheel? I don't know. That's moving pretty fast. I know that you're supposed to have the water going around it in a certain way. But look how fast that's moving already. So I think I have enough stuff gathered that we could actually make the high voltage capacitor. Come in here and we will get our capacitor. And then we will need the HV wire coil. Oh, we're going to need our hammer. And at least two of these. And two 
two of these, right? Put it on with aluminum and steel, yes. And now we can just use our shears to make the wires. Now we will do our aluminum wire, and that should do our HV or high voltage wire cable. And that gives us four of those. We need a connector and a relay. Ooh, insulating glass, pulverized iron. I think we can do this, but it's gonna take me a minute. So I think we can get our pulverized iron using the quartz grindstone, because that's what I have available, and I don't feel like making anything else. Spinning and spinning. I just don't wanna make a pulverizer yet. Okay, so let's make our HV wire relay, because now I have the, in the stuff to make the insulating glass. Yes, I need four of those. I need another, my other cactus green was still in the oven. And finally, we can make our relay. And then I need an HV capacitor. You know, I might have the terracotta in here. I need one more. And I need one more aluminum, darn it. And now we have everything and our HB capacitor. Okay, now somewhere in here is our kinetic dynamo right here. So let's add the connector. Then we'll place our capacitor here. Put another connector here. Let's put our relay wire. No, it's not going to work there. Work there. I guess we will find out. It did. Now we'll just connect these two. And now you can see the power going into the capacitor. So I'm going to work on building the, our extra water wheels. And probably get the water to go around the way it's supposed to. Although it's going pretty fast now. Um, I'm also going to work on continuing to build the sails there for our windmill at the top of the house. And when those things are done, I'll probably also build up some more of this building here. And when these things are done, I will come back. Okay, real quick, let's look at our mob grinding utilities. This is a mob masher we had to make for the quest. We've also made the uh, horizontal vector plates and a fan. So... It's already got us started in a mob farm. So let's take a look at the mob grinding utilities. And the first thing I want to get is this absorption hopper. Because this will collect both our experience and items. Okay, so there's our absorption hopper. And I would like one of these ender inhibitors. Because I keep the endermen from being able to teleport away. I think that's my last ender pearl. Right click to activate or deactivate. I'm going to go build a mob farm. I will be back. If we right click on our fan, we'll get the GUI. And the show area button will show us exactly the areas the fan is affecting. And we need a bigger area. So what are the upgrades we can use? This has distance and this has width. Okay, we've got that one. And I think we can do that too. We have so let's add our upgrades. Distance that did nothing. Try off and on again. Take it out. It didn't change. Put it back in. It doesn't change. Nothing happens. And width. Well, that one worked at least. The distance did nothing. <laughs> back with the upgrades. Let's try another distance. Nothing. The distance are doing absolutely nothing. But at least the width worked and now the whole area is covered width-wise. Hmm. We have these conveyors. Let's try something. Let's just put a couple down right here to uh, test these out. Okay. So if I have this on... That worked. Let's get the rest of them down. We've got our plates down and our walls up. Let's see if this works. Yep, it works. Now I just need to finish framing this out. Let's get our masher in there before we get our walls too high to reach it. Let's put a lever here and see if this works. Oh, I can see it moving. Okay. 
So we can put our absorption hopper. Probably here should be fine. And our small storage crate can go here. Now we'll right click on the absorption hopper and set uh, east to items. There we go. And our singularity tanks can go, or our open block tanks can go here. And we will set north, I believe it is, north to fluids. Let's see. Yep, that was it. It is now connected. I'm going to finish building the walls and I'll be back. Now I recently got a drop of evil as a quest reward, but it's just a matter of finding it. Here it is. Let's put our drop of cursed earth there. This back in. Turn our fan on. I've never actually used a drop of evil before. How long does it take to start working? Will things spawn while I'm here? I hear a rat. We're getting a lot of rats. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave this alone for a while and see what happens. Let's see what we have for upgrades while we wait. So let's see, we have sharpness we have smite which actually just takes some zombie flesh and we have a ton of that um okay let's make us some smite let's just throw some smites in there and maybe some sharpness too what did that take a lot of iron right four iron swords let's see how many we have up here. Oh, none. Oh, right here we have one, two. These both have been used. So now we only need to make two more to at least get one smite on there. Or, I'm sorry, sharpness. Okay, I've got everything I need. Let's make sharpness. Okay, let's go add these to our mob grinder. Oh, things sound scary down here. And then let's throw some smite up there. And some sharpness. Maybe that'll go a little faster now. And we've got our XP filling up. Okay, so our mob XP farm is done. I do want to make, oh, a couple more tanks. Okay, I've grabbed the XP shower that was also part of the quest line. And that needs a lever. Let's see how this works. Oh, it works. We've got it. So I'm going to continue putting cobble down in here, removing the dirt, and showering in my experience. I will be back. Okay, I had a couple really great tips this week um, that I really want to try out. So one is from Brian, and I'm not going to try and pronounce your last name, suggested I try an empty sack of holding. He says, empty sack of holding is, is also another great item. You can grab spawners, totems, and other things that would generally break. It's really cool. It says transport a container with its contents is also what it says. So that's really cool. We're going to give this a try. I just need to grab all my leather from up here. Now let's get this made so we can try it out. So, like, can I carry this? 
Can I do this? <gasps> I can. Now, how do I set it down? And I get the sack back. Okay, that is awesome. Can I anchor it? Because I die all the darn time. <laughs> it's getting better. It's getting better. Usually I just get knocked out of the sky by dragons. That's how I generally die. Usually you can fly high enough and they won't bother you, but sometimes I have to fly fly a little lower and I don't know they're there like the map hasn't loaded in I can't see their location okay let's try this it does not anchor oh that's too bad but still very cool thank you Brian for that awesome tip I have lots of uses for that so that's fantastic um I can't wait to use that I'm not quite ready for powered spawners and stuff yet but when I am, that'll be great. Um, I should have made it before I did my mop farm, but um, lucky for me, I got a drop of evil and was able to make my mop farm that way. And it's doing pretty good. I mostly wanted it for the experience here, but all this loot is nice too. We have once again come to the end. This is all we have time for today, but I want to thank everybody for joining me. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. If you want to see what kind of trouble and mishaps I end up in next time, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss